it's Nancy, and I'm gonna do a Q&A video for you guys, which I have never done before. There's no math in this video. I put the math stuff away. No markers, no math writing, just straight talk. So why am I doing a Q&A video now? Well, the truth is I feel comfortable doing it now. I have this new channel and those of you who are here chose to be here. The most loyal fans a math nerd could ever ask for. A lot of you have asked me for Q&A videos. So let's get to the questions. So Fire Ant G says, bit of a silly question here, but how do you write backwards so well? Are you a wizard? I can't tell you how many of you have asked me this question every day, all day. Yeah, all the time. And the answer is, I can't tell you. Because the thing is, a good magician doesn't reveal their tricks. And if I told you, then suddenly everybody would be writing magically backwards. And I want to be the only wizard. <laughs> but, so I know that was a bit of a non-answer. I'm terrible at Q&As, clearly. I promise I have answers for all the other questions. I just wanted to get that one out of the way. And you enter, says, how did you get into MIT? Please tell. <laughs> I will tell. I will tell you. I know why you're asking me this. I know that you want a shortcut to get in, but there's really no shortcuts. There's really no magic formula. It took a lot of hard work. I worked so super hard in high school. I was a bit of a nerd. I busted my ass, perhaps too much. It's kind of a given that you do need to have your high standardized test scores and high grades. It's a bit of a given. And it's gonna take, honestly, just luck I think I was very lucky. I think the the real big thing is your passion. I know it sounds cliche, but it, for me, I was and still am super passionate about math, super passionate about computer science, even in high school. Whatever it is that you're truly passionate about, if you do it, like unabashedly, just do it um, and things come of it. They have a way of noticing that. So I think that's it. I think it's a lot of, like super, super hard work in high school, plus being lucky, plus just being, you know, having some passion for the stuff. And why put yourself through MIT if you're not passionate about it? Because the, um, it is rigorous and it is a lot of work. And why put yourself through that? What's your email? I want to send you my trig worksheet because I need your help. No, I can't do your trig worksheet for you. Just like I can't do the homework of all my high school friends who used to ask me to do their homework for them. Always. It is a bit flattering, but also just impossible. I can't, I can't do your homework for you. That's the short answer. Sorry. You know, but a wise person told me once, give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he does his trig homework. It shouldn't just be he though. We can teach women to fish, women and men. The point is, Everyone can fish, it's 2018. Andrew Fitch asks, does anyone else watch these because of her amazing voice? She's like the Bob Ross of math. <laughs> that is clever. Mm. Bob Ross is so calming and peaceful, it's like paints the happy little trees. Sometimes when I get really deep into an integral, <laughs> like, you know, y'all, don't forget your little, don't forget your little plus C, don't forget your, don't forget the negative sign, you know, the little negative sign. <laughs> In a way, like your happy little trees? No. No, let's, I'm not as cool as Bob Ross. But thank you. KH says, I know this topic, but I am watching this for ASMR. Oh, hmm, that is interesting. I guess that means that I soothe you. Uh, I guess, uh, hopefully I don't put you to sleep. I probably do put some of you to sleep because math is just can be like that. Yeah, maybe I should try to incorporate some more ASMR into the videos. Like, um, maybe I should start like tapping my nails in the background. Gently tapping my nails on my phone. Soothing. Yeah, I could also gently uh, twirl my hair. The sound of Nancy twirling her hair is either awesome or really unwelcome right now. I don't know. I think some of you for some reason find find my voice um, ASMR-like. I'll take that as a compliment. Unless I'm putting you to sleep, in which case, I'm sorry. Or you're welcome. Next one says, I appreciate you. Please let us be friends. Before we become friends, I, I do have a couple questions. One, 
do you live on the East Coast? I feel like that might get a little hard if you don't. <laughs> Second question, do you love pasta? And if you don't, can I have your pasta? Yeah, we can be friends. That's what's great about this new channel is it's a chance to interact with you guys more and connect with you guys more. So yeah, let's all be friends, but not the kind of friends where you just use me for math. I mean, this is a math channel, so use it for math, but friends are for more than just using for math. A wise woman once said to me. I know a lot of wise people. The other guy was with the fish. That was a different wise person. So I want to do more videos like this, but I could use your help. I need your ideas. I need your questions. If you have more questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Give me your questions. Give me your ideas. Give me your math problems. I'll take it all. I want to hear from you. Yeah, so I don't know how to end these. Usually I just do a solution and then say goodbye. <laughs> so goodbye.